Hi, it's Mark from MC Electrical and today I just want to talk to you about sun power panels and why their panels and their cells are fundamentally different from any other panel. Um, now this is a cell from your traditional solar panel and 60 of these will make up your average 250 or 275 watt panel. Um, as you can see, if you, if you looked closely at this cell, what they actually do is get that silicon and screen print fine silver lines horizontally and, um, and then they get ribbons of silver and solder them vertically. Uh, the reason for this is just to transmit the power from any part of the silicon all up these bus bars to the other cell and finally to the connections on the panel. Now a sun power cell is completely different. If you have a close look at that, you can see there is no screen printing, no lines covering the silicon. Uh, the first good thing about that is it means it can, can collect more sun because none of the silicon is covered. Um, and the second part about the cell is the way they do a um, solid copper base with all of the connections um, printed on the back of it. Uh, the way they do this with the thick copper base is um, makes the cell a whole lot more durable um, and I guess the reason you want a durable cell I guess in the first place is transportation um, you know we've had a lot of problems with micro cracks in the industry on panels and it's becoming a, quite, a lot more obvious issue over time, whether it's be from rattling around the back of a truck or you know rough guys um, tying down their gear on the back of the trailer, standing on them when they're installing them. Most installers know we shouldn't do that now. Um, or even someone up on your roof after the installation, um, walking on your panels that doesn't know any better, um, possibly hail damage or house movement or whatever is going to happen in the you know 20 or 30 years that you want these panels to be on your roof. So sun power, one of the main advantages of the cell again is just the durability of the cell. Now that copper foundation has a lot more advantages and I go into that uh, a lot more deeply in my post which is uh, linked to this. Now I'm just going to go outside and give you a quick demonstration of um, the dur durability of these two different cells. Now we've taken the cell outside and measure measuring the voltage of it in sunlight. 0.59, nearly 0.6 of a volt there. Now the sun power cell, when you bend it, it will flex. But if you bend it too far, it obviously will crack, but it'll hold in one piece. Get the voltmeter onto that now and uh, we'll find out that it still is producing 0.57 there. Pretty much the same kind of voltage, so obviously you're still producing power out of a cracked sun power cell. Now compare this to your conventional cell, give it a bit of a flex and it's all over. Doesn't matter if this is an LG cell, top of the range, or if it's a cheap uh, piece of Chinese rubbish. All of the cell technology and manufacturing processes are very similar or just as fragile as each other in reality. And you obviously don't get any power out of a crack cell. Now the fact that the sun power cell is more durable isn't the only thing that makes sun power panels the best panels on earth. The connections that you get between the cells on the sun power panel are a lot more durable than the thin silver ribbons that you get connecting your traditional panel. Now, uh, in contrary to what uh, most people think, heat really affects a uh, standard panel drastically. A 40 degree day means a standard panel will work less efficiently. On the sun power cell, because you've got that nice copper base, the heat is drawn away from the silicon. So on a 40 degree day, a uh, sun power panel will work more efficiently compared to your standard panel. Now, another thing is that the end type silicon, a different kind of silicon in the sun power panel, um, degrades a lot more slowly. So 
your traditional panel will degrade at around about 1%, well, on paper, on their warranty, at 1% per year. Um, so your LG panel, in comparison, 0.6% per year, which is fairly good. Your sun power panel, though, will only degrade at 0.4% of its output per year. So after 10 and 20 years, you're getting a lot more power out of your sun power panel. One more thing is the sun power panel is a lot more tolerant to shade. So if you get partly, partly shaded conditions, the way the cell is manufactured means the silicon is not nearly as affected by the shade. Um, and you don't get as much of a hot spot in the panel, which means your panel will produce more power. Also means the bypass diodes won't operate as quickly, which means you produce more power. It means your bypass diodes won't operate as often um, so the bypass diodes will last longer. Now you put all these things together and you've clearly got a better panel in the sun power panel. Not only that, but this panel, a little bit shorter than your standard panel, is 327 watts, where your standard panel now is anywhere between 250, 260, maybe 275 watts. So if um, space on your roof is an issue, you're going, going to get a lot better bang for your buck and a lot more power up in your roof with a sun power panel. They also come in 345s, a little bit more expensive. Now, sun power, sun power put their money where their mouth is with their warranty. Your standard panel is what they call a 10 slash 25 year warranty. All it means is really it's a 10 year warranty. The 25 year means nothing in, in actual fact. Uh, so after 10 years, if the product fails, your standard panel will be replaced under warranty Often they won't even include labour. LG panels are a good panel. They have a 12 year warranty and they include the labour in that. Where Sun Power, the only panel on earth that have a genuine 25 year parts and labour warranty. So within the 25 years, let's say after 24 years, your panel isn't uh, producing as it should or it, you know, it starts degrading and, and corroding, um, Sun Power will replace your panel free of charge. They'll pay for the labour as well. Um, so clearly you can see Sun Power is the best panel on earth. If you're looking for a serious panel for a good investment for your home, it's worth looking into.